Hey guys, it's Mike from Mike Stickers here. Hey, sorry, this is not the video that I want to be making today, but this is where I'm at. As you can hear, the printer is beeping, the blue light is flashing, and the B BN20 utility says that my waste tank is full. It says either replace it or turn off the printer. And I'll tell you what, I didn't order one and I don't have one here. So this is a bad deal for me. So I know how I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna let y'all know. I've got my old empty one from the last time. I already um, emptied it out, and threw away the old material. And I'm gonna show y'all what to do. I'm gonna go buy some new material to put in here. And I believe that should work. So I'm gonna show y'all what I do and how I fix this problem. So I think I have a pretty good solution to what's gonna fix this. Now, this is not an idea that I got from anybody else. This is all just in my own head. So we'll find out if it's really gonna work or not. I'm not 100% positive, but I think it should. Um, the inside of the waste tank is just filled with a bunch of this material that seems to be absorbing up the ink. And so I'm just gonna replace it with some other material. Now, I guess I didn't realize that the waste tank was full because instead of the the bars on the utility going down and dropping it actually rises up and i guess i just feel dumb because i didn't even realize that it was full right now until it just stopped printing and said it that i had to replace it so anyways um i didn't have time to do this and think about it uh i didn't have time to do it the right way so I think I know something that's going to fix it. I'm going to go to my local auto parts store and uh, any auto parts store should hopefully have what I'm looking for. I think there's a O'Reilly's and an AutoZone, I think right next door to each other over here. I live in a new area that I've only been out for about a year now or a little less than a year. And I've never been to either one of these auto parts stores yet. So I don't know what sort of selection they have. It'll be my first time checking it out and seeing. So I'll let y'all know how it goes and if I find what I need. All right, so I think I found what I needed, um, but I also learned a lesson. Uh, I shouldn't be talking about auto parts stores, I guess on this channel, but this is where we're at today because that's where I had to go. Um, but you're going to find a, a variety of different experiences depending on where you go and who you interact with. And it's weird because depending on where I go, different auto parts stores either are really, really good or they really suck. And I go places and people will say, you know, don't go to AutoZone, they suck. And then other places uh, have a different experience or whatever. Um, I usually go to O'Reilly's. I usually have a better experience at O'Reilly's, but this particular town where I'm living now, apparently the O'Reilly sucks. I called the people on the phone and I asked them if they had what I was looking for and he was like, no, oh no, we don't have anything like that here. And then I kind of didn't believe that because my day job is in the automotive industry and I have bought this stuff from auto parts stores plenty of times before so I, I had a hard time believing they didn't really have it and so i looked on their website and sure enough they had it i filtered it to show like if they had it in stock or not and it showed that it had it in stock so i thought i'd go drive by and the o'reilly's was closer so i stopped by there first there was no customer cars outside i was the only customer and they weren't really friendly at all and they only had a couple packages of this stuff that i was looking for and they're little little bitty small packages i would have needed probably at least four or five of those packages to make it work so i went ahead and bought a couple of those packages and then i drove over to the auto zone and i had a much different experience the parking lot was full of customers parking lot was twice as big and the parking lot was full 
And so right away I thought, well, that probably tells you something right there. If everyone in town is going to that place, it's probably has better, uh, better customer service, better selection, all the above. And so anyways, I, uh, I didn't see it on the shelf. So I stood in line and waited and asked the gentleman and he, he did have a roll of what I was looking for. It's a big roll of 50 feet long. So it's more than what I need, but it'll last a while. So I've got two different options to kind of show y'all. And uh, I'll be back home in a minute and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so I'm back at the shop now. I think I got what I needed. So here's what I got. Um, this is called Pig Mat. It is a oil absorbent mat material that you lay down on the ground to absorb oil that's used in automotive garages and this is what i was looking for here is a roll of it this isn't the cheapest option it's cheaper to get it online but like i said this is kind of an emergency this this big roll here should last quite a while um i mean this is 50 feet by 18 inches i think or 15 inches tall by 50 feet long so that's going to last quite a while. And then the first stop I made uh, was at O'Reilly's. They had these little ones. These are $2.99 a piece. It's just a, a few sheets in there. You know, honestly, between these two, that might be enough. I really don't know. You might need more than that. So with that being said, this was $6 worth. $6 worth might be enough for what I actually need. But I bought this one just in case. This one was like $34, but like I said, this is a lot more in here and this is going to last a lot longer. I think one of these boxes is like $35 for the waste tank box. So it's the same price as one of those basically, but it'll last many, many times, I believe. So we'll test this out and see. I guess I'll start with this material here so I can see how far these go and if they really last. These are showing that there's two pieces in here they're 15 inches by 19 inches each so we'll take this waste tank apart i already took the screws off of it which the screws are inside of it so i didn't lose them i'll just set those to the side there waste tank is empty and they have these in there a certain way so i'm going to try to put them in there the same way that they had them Basically the stuff they had in there is pretty similar to this. I don't see why it wouldn't work. So I'm going to need to cut them down to size basically. So here's a big square. It'll, it's perforated in the middle. It's another sheet here, perforated. It doesn't tear perfectly, but gets the job done. So I'm still going to want to cut them down even more. I'm going to say maybe right here. It has these little fins on the inside which kind of make it where stuff doesn't fit perfectly but I think this will probably work so I'm gonna lay down I'm gonna trim these up and lay down a few more pieces inside there I'm gonna save these little half pieces Save all that stuff. Let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna go three pieces like that. No, I'm gonna do four of them. At least four. 
I'm making this up as I go. I've never done this before. I'm just giving it a shot, just seeing how it works out. All right, so I got four pieces like that. Then they had a channel in the middle, I guess, so it can, as it goes in there, it can go in the middle and kind of wick into the rest of it. So I'm going to try to mimic what they had. I'm going to use some of these scrap pieces for that. I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm making this up as I go. I guess that might be too thin. That might not be how I want to do it. Let me try this again. Okay, so save one for that side, one for this side. I'm going to cut it right down the middle. Do one here, one here, and maybe even fill some in in the back. Little spots back here. I don't, the, the thing that uh, I don't really know about is how it senses when it's full or not. There's no sensors or anything like that in here that I can see. So to the best of my knowledge, it's using some sort of a scale. And it just determines when it feels like it's full. So that might be all it is. It might just have a built-in scale that determines when it's a certain weight and then that's when it thinks that it's full. Now, last time I emptied it, it certainly was full. I said making this up as I go along so I have no idea how this is really going to work out but we're giving it a shot because I don't have another waste tank right now Want to build up the sides a little bit higher. I really don't remember how high it was packed the first time. I have a video somewhere, but I'm in a rush. I'm just going to try to get this done and hope it works. With this being said, I would say that I think that just these two packages is enough. The $6 worth. I'm going to cut that one a little bit shorter.
say for about six dollars worth of this material if you can find the smaller packages and that's all you need you can measure this stuff out but as you can see I'm just gonna eyeball it just cutting it down so I'm just gonna stop right there well, I'll put one more piece on top okay I'm gonna stop right there put the lid back on it screw every da everything back down into place I'm gonna see how that if that actually works So, one other thing I'm going to do is because I suspect that, oh look, I only use one package. I'm sorry, I only use one package. That was three dollars worth. What I was thinking. I only use one package worth, three dollars worth of material, if this works. Okay, but I'm going to try to weigh it. So I suspect that there's a weight thing. I want to see what an empty one with the material weighs. The material I put in it. One pound on the money. Right on the money. One pound. Now we'll see what the one that I pull out of here weighs. I'm going to do that here in just a second. I'm gonna let it turn on and register that it's uh, that it's full that it's out that the waste tank is full. Okay. Now this thing weighs two pounds fifteen ounces. Two pounds, 15 ounces. It's a big difference in the weight. So it's asking me on the computer screen now, it's saying, have I replaced it? And it's asking me to confirm it. Well, there you go. It looks like it worked. Um, the one thing I will say is I'm not going to be responsible for anyone's BN20 printer if it gets messed up. The only thing I would wonder about is if it will cause any issues as the ink is trying to get in there. If it maybe backs up or gets clogged up or something like that. So I'm going to experiment with mine. I'm not necessarily recommending and telling y'all that this is something that y'all should do with yours. Uh, that's my legal disclaimer I just simply don't want to be responsible for it so if you try this try it at your own risk I really don't see what the harm is or that it's going to cause any sort of negative effects at all but I'll test it out I'll let you know so um, right now this is what I'm doing and I'm about to print some stuff right now so I'll let you know if I have any issues with it I appreciate y'all watching please like share subscribe I really appreciate all the support from everybody uh, I didn't really say it officially announced it, but I'm over a thousand subscribers. I just got to get those watch hours up now so I can get fully monetized. All right, but yes, I appreciate all the support from y'all and just keep watching. Thank you.